Hi, it's Mr. Pat again. The last time I talked to you people, we were at the Eiffel Tower at dark, at the hour when it was blinking for five minutes. Okay, normally I don't wear a black beret when I'm in Paris, especially when I lead a group. I wear a red beret, so I stick out and people can follow me. And if I have a large group, I've gone there with as many as 75 people, I wear this. Nobody gets lost. When you step off the bus or get out of your car, and like I said, it's easy to park at the Trocadero, um, you'll be approached by people wanting to sell you some Eiffel Tower keychains. Uh, when I get off the bus, I put these around my neck, and the, the people selling these things, since I have more than them, uh, really get a laugh out of it. I was just in Paris on 11 November 2019, and these Eiffel Tower keychains sell for six for one euro. And if you buy a few, every time you go there, you end up with this many. So six for one euro. The next day, come on back to go up in the Eiffel Tower. That's when you can park around here and join the other people that were in the wrong place the night before. Here's the Seine River. Here's the Eiffel Tower. The night before, this is where you watch the, the twinkle, twinkling on the hour. This leg here has a set of steps. And these other legs have uh, elevators. What you want to do is walk up in the Eiffel Tower for two reasons. It saves you money and it's faster. The elevator, it's got to stop. The line stops when it leaves to go up and everybody waits in line till it comes back down empty and takes another load of, of people up. On the steps, it's a continual uh, line moving through. You buy your ticket, you get on the steps and up you go. I'm sort of afraid of heights and it doesn't bother me so it won't bother you. The steps are full-size steps, unlike a lot of the churches we go up where the steps are like scalene triangles and if your foot's uh, 12, size 12, you have a trouble even getting your foot on the step. These are normal size steps and you can go up to the second level. So you go up to the first level, you go all the way around, then you catch the steps again and go up to the second level. The first set of steps, all the way around the first level, all the way around the second level, there's plaques in English and French that you can read that are very interesting. That walking up will be another thing that'll stick in your parents' and uh, children's minds for the rest of your life, okay? Most people then see the Eiffel Tower from the wrong location at the wrong time, and they don't go up the steps they wait, pay more money, take more time to go up in the elevator. Um, you might want to buy some berets. And on 11 November, Veterans Day, um, like I said, I was in Paris, and the berets cost three for nine euros, three euros a piece. Um, I bought three. Um, I had bought earlier in the day some for five, uh, and you can pay a lot more than that at the wrong souvenir stand, but this was right near next to Notre Dame. Notre Dame then has one side facing the river, one side away from the river, and that's where the, a lot of souvenir stands are, and that's the price for uh, berets, three euros a piece. And don't believe that there's only one size. So that's the second time we talked about Paris. Hopefully I gave you some tips that will be useful when you go there as a family. Bye-bye for now. Mr. Pat from the Teen Center.